Welcome back to my channel. Hey everybody, what's going on? Um, I know it's been a while. As I always say, that seems to be my normal, like, introduction. <clears throat> um, a couple of things before we get started. I know my last video, It's it's been a while since my last video. Um, I'm just going to be really real. I'm thinking of starting a vlog channel, which is going to take a lot of guts. But I'm thinking I'm doing it because I th feel like it's important because I um go through a lot of like um, anxiety and things and it might sound ridiculous to some people like it's all in your head but I really suffer from severe anxiety at times and it's crippling like I can't do anything and then even um and even my last video shows that I just I couldn't even finish the video all the way but I wanted to post it anyway because I worked hard up to that point and like as you listen through the video and it's by the way it's my flip through my yellow kiki k but um even through the video you could tell that I was like slowing down and just kind of like anyway um but I know that there's a lot of people that suffer from these things and I think Planning helped me deal with these kind of anxieties. Um, but what I find with planning, I have an addiction to it. <laughs> so I'm constantly changing and I feel like I find planner peace. Like as soon as I did that video, I wanted to go back to my pocket. Because pocket has always been my happy place. I always go back to pocket size. Now I am going to be using... Uh, I am going to be using personal size a lot back into my Maldens because this is my these are my favorite planners um I love Kiki K because of the big rings but I'm using this strictly for pen to paper um it's not even really planning it's more note taking and things like that but I have it the important stuff in here filled out to go with my pocket it kind of balances it balances the information um that way, if I decide to go into this, it'll be prepared. But if you can tell, it's really simple. Um, I don't even have my dividers truly decorated. But I do have Coco Daisy inserts because a friend of mine sent me. So I don't know if you can tell, these are from like years back. But I love these inserts and I don't feel like they need decorating. So I have plans for this notebook. This is going to hold a lot of notes but it has my main section my youtube section and i have it set up but i'm not going to do a complete flip through of this guy but i am in right now i'm using two binders is this one which i'm not using as much right now and then my pocket which is a chunky monkey um this is the first time i'm debuting my malden my pocket malden i've had two others that have had their videos but this one has not and this is by far my favorite setup in a pocket it's very simple but functional for me everything in here I have made um and I'll tell you where I got the inserts honestly all my inserts came from Filofax or on Amazon um so let's just get started um this all clip serves a purpose and for grocery list to this clip so I can walk around like this and it I can use it as a surface um, because if I walk around with my planner open it's just a little bulky and I have to balance it in my hand <clears throat> um the outside I actually have charms and these have have been tested I promise like I've been using this for couple weeks and um these have withheld the damaging ways of my life um in here you'll see it's a space kitty theme <laughs> or a space theme so the star my one of my good friends made me and I have her information she's she does a lot of custom work but she made me this amazing um traveler's notebook and this bow a lot I have a lot of her stuff in my um setups and things like that because I adore her and she's a very loving kind person 
um, but she made me this and it was a total surprise but this was my inspiration for all my setups now I always have my moon charm in every setup I do because this means something to me then I have a unicorn and then the evil eye and this is Swarovski Swarovski crystal And um, there's a story behind the evil eye, and I'll tell you that. My obsession for the evil eye came from when I um, ordered my Hobonichi Weeks cover uh, the, from Galleon Leather. And they sent a charm that was in, ha handmade in their village, and it was the evil eye, and it's on my phone. And I actually have the... Um, story right here so I figured I'd share it with you um, when I received my first evil eye from my grandmother I was six years old it was famous in our culture since those days I believe the power of the evil eye the evil eye in Turkish Nazar is often defined as the ability to bring about evil results by malicious by a malicious glaze gaze in most cultures the belief is prevalent that some human beings have the power of sending destructive ways rays to the so to speak in order to cause harm to those of whom that are envious or otherwise dislike it is a handmade in the village of turkey that's where that is so in my case i like the evil eye because in my life I've had a lot of negative people and just jealousy and I don't know why but it's to me it's basically shooting back whatever negative energy they give to me back on to them so they can see the error of their ways but that's why I thought that was fun that's why I have this um as you see this is a lot more less decorative um i love the beautiful decoration i love looking at all of y'all stuff it's so amazing and i love the really layered look um but i'm add and high anxiety so sometimes i can't do that um even my yellow kiki hay it was very structured and beautiful um, it was just overwhelming to me. Now, I still have it set up the way it was, and I still use it for my very important information, like um, tracking my car um, maintenance and things like that. The very, you know, I guess you could say it's my home binder. And now I'm starting to understand why people use multiple binders. It's making a little more sense to me now. Um, okay, so in this zipper pocket here, I, by the way, love this Malden because it's floppy, it's buffalo leather, it's the best. The rings are a decent size, um, and it's very accessible for what I need, and I just, I love it. Um, I got these little post notes, they're tiny, and I like to use them in my monthly for pre-planning and things like that. Um, I also have these post-its because I have kind of like a geo theme going on in here and I have this paper clip I like these tiny spiral paper clips they're my favorite so I have that that's all that I have in there and I do use those things so they're pretty functional and this pocket here I have some stickers um I have some header stickers um and i do use these and i'll show you how um just today important this week next week all that stuff you know you just you know some leftover header stickers but i will use these i'm not gonna waste them they come from crystal palace a friend of mine sent me a bunch of this and i've been using them ever since and then behind the checklist i have banner colored banner headers and I like to put those in my list section um it just makes the page it's just a quick and easy way to make my page look nice um this is a special note for my parents for my birthday um it tells a little bit about my family history so I keep that in there um for personal purposes in the second pocket here I have my hand stamp stickers. These are all functional. Um, I've cut them down from the bigger size sheet that I made, but they all have served their purpose and I use every single one of them. So I'm glad that I have them in here now. 
I've missed having them. Um, and then back here I have my, um, I can't show you this, but these are my address labels that a friend of mine made me. And then this is Jenny Lane Creations. This My friend Cheryl is the one that made the cute star charm and the TN and the bow. I really would love for you guys to check her out. She's fairly new, I think, to Etsy, but she's a fantastic human being, and she will custom work, and she's a perfectionist, so she's really into what she makes. And when I do a walkthrough of my TN, which is my journal, that she made me I'll show you all the details that she put into making this it's hand stitched so it's not perfect but that's why I love it and even the crochet bow she made me matches my TN perfectly because it all came together along with this star um, because these are things that I indicated that I loved and she made it happen um, I'm using the top loading pockets that came with my pocket file faxes I, in this planner, I am repurposing pretty much everything. I'm not really buying anything new. I did get um, some new inserts, but they were really cheap. I'll show you. But I basically just cut down and collaged some scrapbooking paper, and this die cut came from my friend um, Mary, who is also another wonderful woman. Uh, she's, her, she has an awesome Facebook group with a lot of free printables, she is just so talented um and for someone that's just started she, i mean wow she's gonna blow people out of the water um i would highly suggest joining that group especially for some of these free printables like stickers and die cuts and things like that um ugly duckling planning ugly duck planning on facebook um so i just made this bow i watched a video on how to make a bow so i just made it to try it and it's part of the dashboard that i made to put in here and I was pretty proud of myself my first time trying and it's just one uh, it's just one piece of ribbon and it's so cute so this is my I guess um, tasks or uh, I've I want to say my next action like it's future actions this is my action section this is something you see in all my setups I have um, sticky notes in the front and a place to just put them um, this is some information that anything that I put here is things that I need to move further into my planner um, these are not only cute but and I've had them for a long time so I wanted to use some but they actually match my color code too the green the purple the blue the orange the yellow, the pink, it all goes. And this reminds me of my daughter so much. And she's pink. So it actually, I can make it work with my color code system, which is something I need. The vellum I got from Hobby Lobby. And it's this beautiful sky vellum. You can't tell with this piece. But my daughter drew me this picture here. These are just file facts, um, you know, to do... And I love them. I have enough to where I don't have to buy any for a little while. But this is where I put, it's like my ongoing task or actions. So, things I want to look up. Uh, this is my next. And if you notice, I don't have tabs because they're tall enough that I can flip. And they're wide enough that I could just turn. And I don't have that many sections. I only have four sections. But I do have tabs on important parts of my planner. Down here is my today section. It also has this, but we'll get to that. So this is my um, planning section, my calendar and things like that. Um, I made this die cut. Y'all have seen this in a lot of my stuff. Um, this came from the paper pack from Michaels that, that I've used for this theme with the geos and things like that. Um, it just has my color coding system. I drew this die cut and laminate it it for this setup and she cute so cute and um this is a really cute unicorn um vellum also from hobby lobby so i track on the year at a glance i track my cycle and i track the holidays and that's i did track some other things but that's what i ended up sticking with and then i have a 
These inserts are awesome. I love them. They come from Handy Forms. I actually have gotten my inserts from them off of, um, oh my lord, off of Amazon. Um, love them. Their paper quality is very nice. It's thick. It's thick, but it's a month on two page and then a week on one page with notes. Um, when I was in my pocket for a while, I realized I didn't really need a full week on two page for my daily things because I liked the day on page, but I'll show you what I did. So this has been great for like, um, for example, this is this month. And if you see, I do not decorate a lot. Um, it's, it would be just overwhelming, but I do like to put little tidbits and I color code so naturally it's going to be colorful. Um, and so I decided to do my weeks like this, block it off with my color code, with the things I need to do, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then here's an example of how I use my tags. Like these are very important things that I needed to bring my attention to that day. Like they're the biggest things that day. So that's why I use those. And then I made this little, this is just one of the um, fly leaves that came with one of my pocket size planners. And I just turned it and put a tab. By the way, these tabs came from Dollar Tree and I really like them. They're very sturdy and they're see-through. Very nice. Um, and then these came from Michaels. I love these post-it notes. And these came from Tuesday morning, I think. Um, so I used that and have cut slits to show my week. And I track my water on the week. So this is next week. It's really not pretty. Um, the further down and the more used to I get to it, it'll be good. But I only have until June in here. And then I have this star vellum. And these are post-its, but I just went ahead and wrote help on there. Here's another die cut that I made. It's a star and she cute. So cute. Um, this is kind of like an inspirational focus board and then I have my mood tracker I got a year pull out Ta -da! and this is how I'm tracking my mood and I'm using the same code I've used in my last pocket um, I like to keep some things the same um, I love this little section. It looks so cute. Um, I love the colors and it, I have to do this for medical reasons. Um, but anyway, so on the back of that pullout, I put this and did this. Now at first, before I got this pullout, cause this is one I recently bought off of Amazon, but it is a five of facts insert. I used this as my way to track my mood, but now I'm using this to track my movement so that just kind of decorated the back a little bit work it movement and then my key for that and then these are post-it notes from target which i love these i highly suggest if you find any of these at target they come out with different colored ones once a year sometimes twice a year i would stock up on them and then i cut out this from a paper pad and put a little strip of washi on it and rounded the corners and that's that and then I made these little post-it notes out of post-it notes you can it's it's a simple idea you can cut down a regular size post-it note into whatever shape you want and then round the corners and things like that and it gives you you know something a very sturdy post-it note but still kind of cute so I have another fly leaf that I just put some of these stickers on um this which indicates my day now um this is the section that's going to take me a minute to get through because i need to tell you my process well before i had a day on two page i know what i need for a day um insert i need a spot to block my time and schedule and task that's the main issue these inserts came from my personal size inserts that I've had. These are some of the first inserts I've bought for when I started planning and I love them. They are so cute. If you really want to just do pen to paper, this is a good way to go because you have your date, your day, your weather, your goals, your, your schedule. Your it's, it's a beautiful way and it's front and back. Um, so um, I wanted, I used that, cut it down, and it was good. I, it gave me exactly what I needed. You know, my schedule, as you see, I used it. It looks good, right? 
functional, right? Not bad, huh? And then I wanted to try something different. So this insert also has the lines and such. This came from Michael's Extraord Always Be Extraordinary pack. Looks like this, very simple. So if you like to decorate, this is a good way to go. And as you see, you can cut it down and it gives you a clean slate. And I just used the butterfly, I wrote my date, and there's my weather at the top and some really cute washi tape that I got. Michael's, um, and then this is the other side that I use. And then my inserts came in. Um, I decided on these instead of the, these are also from Handy Forms. Um, decided on this instead of the file of facts, stay on one page where they have the schedule on one side and the task. I love that, obviously, and especially since it's every 30 minutes, and I actually will probably still purchase those, especially for the summer for my swimmers. But um, right now, I'm using this, and I made this little bookmark, you guys, and put a tab at the bottom so I can get to it easily. And this is that pretty washi tape I was talking about. Um, so it has, let me give you, there, it has notes on the back, and then the task, this breaks up in different spots, it's, or categories, task lists, errands, expenses, phone calls, and shopping, and the notes reminder. So what I decided to do is save the space and use the back for the schedule and then my notes and then there's my task and then I have all the extra space so this works out great I don't always have to do this every day like on the weekends I don't really do this um, I'll use for example this is from Thursday so I'm still using this same page for the weekend and then I'll move on um because I have a lot to do but it's not like serious detailed stuff like so if I have notes and research I'll put it in my note section but so I thought that was awesome I love these inserts and y'all like I said this paper quality is amazing and it's very really smooth so nice so I just have a few of those in there and then I have another I cut in my Saturn she cute um with another piece of vellum I love that you can see the I don't know if you can see on camera but the clouds in this vellum Anyway, um, and this is from my friend Cheryl that you saw the card earlier in the video. Another drawing from my baby girl. So with this, what I wanted to do, um, I was able to just kind of bujo out or just draw a year. And I was going to put the months here. And I haven't figured out what I'm going to use this little graph paper for, but I am going to use it. I haven't decided if I want to track something or what. So... I'll let you know when I figure out exactly what I'm going to use it for. If I end up not using it for anything, I'm just going to take it out. I just love how cute the little graph is. I mean, look how cute the little graph paper is. Oh my gosh, I die. Um, okay, so here's my third divider. This is my list section, uh, lists and projects section. Um, like I said, I had to simplify things for myself um, because my brain just works in categories, but um, pretty basically. So there's that and I cut it out from different pieces of scrap paper and then there's some layered stuff going on here like a journaling card layered on top of the geos layered on top of the paper with this is like a confetti that laminated on top of that anyway and then this is Angelus Angelus Angelica Angelus Angelus um, this is my planner alien for my little pocket planner. She has a little planner. Um, I love her. And these stickers came from Michael's and I'll show you that sheet in a minute, but she's special to me. She's covering up my list. So my, f if you'll see here at the top, I have these little diamonds. These are separating the lists in my list section, listening projects. Hi, Angelus. So, my first is just basic lists, like places to go, my wish list, goals. Um, this is a zone cleaning. I have a home section. I was thinking of putting it that, but I want to keep it here because these are my most looked at lists. And I actually use the colored paper from Filofax to separate as well. So, my blue is my list. And then I have the basic, as you see here, I have this. 
Um, this is for my planning section. This is like when I want to design layouts or have ideas for my planner and things like that. That's what this is for. And I just use basic blank paper. This is for my house and home decor ideas for my house. I love projects. We actually today have spent all day working in the studio trying to work on my husband's side and now I'm jealous because my husband's side looks so good it's much bigger and I'm stuck with this like ugly backing of the shelves that I need to and like nothing went my way today like you guys it's been a stressful day for me but I'm happy for my husband but I'm um, working through it and it's just like I don't know have you guys had that day not even my planner saved me but now it is um, but yeah, so I have ideas and there are different colors right now, but they're going to be pink, um, because these are ideas throughout the years in my pocket or not years, months in my pocket. So this guy gets its own little laminated mermaid kitty because I'm mermaid kitty on YouTube and on anything creative. I am mermaid kitty. So this, this was just, you know, perfect for that. And this came from Target, you guys. Target's got the cutest sticker packs right now, and I'm telling you, mm, so cute. Um, so she's separating. This is my YouTube stuff, my ideas and stuff, um, just the pocket size ideas. I have my personal size that has ideas and research in it, but these are like my quick ideas. And if I decide to move permanently all of my stuff in here, then it's ready. So it's going to be yellow. So this little guy, I'm actually using repurposing uh a week on two page from my follow faxes um inserts and i cover the top and if you notice i don't have dividers for every little thing this go around because it bulks it up so much it's just not necessary but i do have these tabs and i made these tabs from bigger tabs let me show you see this tab made them from these i just cut them and then round the corners of them and you get these little circular so um this is called naturally clean it's cleaning products i've decided to research i like to give myself a good project um each month and this month i'm working on cleaning products and so my friend has decided to join me with it and on sundays that's when we get together and talk about what we've researched um and this we have a product that we focus on in the week we can do more, of course, but we have one focus, which I put here. It's toilet bowl cleaner, and then this is my favorite recipe. I haven't decided yet, but on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I did a different recipe, um, and then I found three different ones, and then I looked up a stovetop cleaner and looked up an all-purpose cleaner. So I have to do one for I need to do one for Saturday and then for tomorrow. <coughs> so that's how I did it, and this is how I kind of cover up the dates and things as you see here and this is what it looks like and it's from 2017 so the dates aren't going to be correct but i obviously made it work for me which is super cute so that's there and then this is my personal home section or like life section i got some star post-its die cut from my friend cheryl this is a sticker from target same cute unicorn vellum and then a card I made from a paper pack and wrote breathe on it. That's my word for this year is breathe. I have to have that word in my planner every, every planner set up because I need to remember to breathe. High anxiety people, remember, freaking breathe. So that's there. And it's, I'm using just the simple Filofax dividers. Um, the Handy Forms paper is a little wider than the Filofax. So it's covering up my um, tabs here, but this is my notes section. It's, and I got my spiritual card that's important to me. Um, so yet again, I'm telling you again, great paper, like so nice. And it's a little wider than the file fact. Um, so that's notes. And then I have information. This section has, and I'm keeping it plain right now. I'll probably either draw something on it or just leave it. This has like my passwords and things like that in there, so I'm not going to show you that, but I'm just using Filofax paper. And then I have financial, which this is interesting. I will show you a little bit of this. Like, let me go in. Oh, okay. All right, so on this, 
on this side, these can come up, but um, financial information, which is like my credit card, and then coupons. So this little journaling card I got in a pack and it has the month and then the date. So what I'm going to do for, this is for my coupons. So I write down which coupon and then I'll highlight the day or whatever. And then it has the amount and everything. And then obviously you guys know how balancing your checkbook, but for me, I'm doing a credit card and this is just the file of facts inserts. That's what I'm using. And I really, really like it. I really enjoy it. So that's in there. And then I have addresses, which obviously I can't show you, but I am using the file of facts inserts for that. There you go. Just like that. But I have these broken up into categories as well. I have it tagged slightly like that. Um, there's work, swim, and planner checks, and then miscellaneous. So I have, and then you all know what this is. It comes with it. I just put a throwing up cactus because I thought it was hot. And some, some personal information. Unicorn post-its. And then in the back, I have this really cute card that a friend of mine gave me in Happy Mail. And then this is my washi card. My choice washi. I honestly didn't even think about this washi. I just put it there because it was I needed the skinny and medium. And they go with any kind of theme, I think. And then... um. There's that beautiful washi I was telling you about. And I just stuck. This is from that same Target sticker book. Like, I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing it, but let me show you. Here's the front of it, you guys. Oh, that's one. That's two. And then there's others. And let me just show y'all real quick. I mean, oh, God, so many cute die cuts are going to come from this. I see it now. And it's inspired me to draw my own. Okay, so back here. Oh, do I have something back here? No. But as most of you know, the Malden has this awesome back pocket. I can't go back now to just a normal pocket binder. I have to have the back pocket. So in here, I have my little notepad that I write my grocery list on. And then I have a couple of journal cards that are functional so I can stick them in. I have my coupons in here. I have my coupons in here and a receipt. And then I have these stickers that go with my theme. They came from Michael's, just two sheets, so cute. And obviously my metal, my metal that I've chosen is silver, so. Um, and yeah, so surprisingly, that's it. Hopefully this video wasn't too long, but who am I kidding? All my videos are long. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free. Like I said, everything in here is either repurposed I made or my friend made. And I showed you that. So I love my pocket planner. I always have. She's like, it's my happy space, you guys always will be I always go back to a pocket no matter what and it seems that once I find planner piece and another planner it's like she gets jealous or something and calls me back to her so hopefully I'll be staying in her for a while because I'm getting kind of exhausted switching around a lot and um I just haven't been happy in the bigger planners so um so these babies work together and um I will do a walkthrough when I use this more. I don't feel like it's good to do walkthroughs when you don't use it. So, until next time, you guys. I love you. Bye.